Ready to upgrade your Gridfinity setup? We're taking it to the next level with lightweight full extension drawers, which need no tools, no printing supports, just your 3D printer and some filament. All with the help of Homewrecker, the universal modular rack builder. Let's make this happen. With the shelves, we've already brought Gridfinity into the third dimension using Homewrecker. Now it's time to elevate your setup even further with my latest creation, the lightweight full extension Gridfinity drawers for Homewrecker. That goes out of the tongue. For those of you who don't know what Homewrecker is, it's a modular rack building system which allows you to build shelves, server racks and many other things. I already made a video about it which I linked in the description. Before we dive in, a quick heads up. These drawers are designed for lighter items, ideally under 2 kilograms per drawer. Think screws and small components, perfect for keeping your workspace tidy as you'll see in this demo. In this video I will present you features, limitations and guide you through printing and assembly. And lastly I'll show you some pitfalls when using this model. You can use the chapters to quickly jump around each section. So let's get into it. Still here? Great! Now let me show you what makes this model special. The main feature of these drawers? They are fully extendable, which makes it easy to place and detach Gridfinity bins, even in the innermost corner. I also introduced safeties so you don't pull them out so far that they fall or the slides come out at the back. And thanks to Homewrecker, you can stack and rack these drawers infinitely in two dimensions, to a certain degree even in three dimensions. You can also combine drawers with any other extension in the Homewrecker ecosystem, like the Gridfinity shelves. To avoid countless model files, I designed the drawers to be parametric, so you can easily configure them by Gridfinity units in the parametric model maker, or download the Fusion file for advanced tinkering. After a lot of refinement, and I mean a load of refinement. As you can see from these prototypes, I figured out a way to design it without the need for printing supports. This was by far the most difficult thing to achieve and it's also the reason why there are so many parts in this model. Finally, a cosmetic detail. There are front plates with a handle and detachable label plates, which you can customize to your liking. Their artwork also scales with the width and height of your drawers, so they always look coherent. Up front, this is the most complex model I've ever created, literally a moving target. And features like full extension, low profiles and supportless printing come with certain limitations, which we'll get into now. Let's start with the elephant in the room. The load-bearing capabilities are limited. As you can see, very deep drawers start to bend when they exceed one kilogram of weight. Thanks to the printing direction of these lights though, they are flexible, so they don't even break when loaded with 3.7 kilograms. So I'd say good enough for organizing small parts like the screws or even pliers, but not for heavy duty applications. For those, you might want to use the Gridfinity shelves instead. Or let me know in the comments if I should come up with a heavy duty version. I was already experimenting with a more modular approach, which in theory would allow for more heavy-duty applications, but that would come with the price of bulkiness, if bulkiness is a word. Next, there is a considerable amount of parts involved. That's due to the full extension nature of this model and the fact that you can print it supportless. That's the trade-off for those features. And there's also a clash of standards, since we're trying to bring Gridfinity and Homewrecker together, which both have different base units, space is not always used as economically as possible. If you don't have the need for modularity or scalability, there are a lot of good Gridfinity drawer models out there which use their resources way more wisely. A final consideration, unrelated to the model's limitations but rather a fundamental principle of physics. A small lightweight rack will likely tilt if a drawer is fully loaded and extended. This effect diminishes the more levels you add to the rack. You can of course also use the wall mounts if you want to be safe. Link in the description. Even with these limitations, I believe this first iteration is pretty decent. I'm planning on refining it even further, but based on your feedback. But I really had to get this version out of the door before I drove myself crazy with endless revisions. What I'm saying is, we've got a functional version now, though it's certainly not perfect. I'd love you to tell me what you think could be improved in the comments. Now let's get down to business. When you want to print a drawer, you can either choose the usual showcase model or customize one in the PMM. 
Either way, you'll have to follow the link in the description to get to Maker World and find it first. Since we went already over this procedure in the last video when I was talking about the shelves, I will only briefly touch on this chapter and focus on the parameter configuration when customizing a drawer. So if you want a deeper dive, consult the printing and assembly guide or the last video. As mentioned, I created a showcase suitable for basically all printers with a 180 by 180 millimeter print bed area or larger. All of them can be printed as is since they include the required home wrecker frame. Short disclaimer, most of my testing went into PLA printed models. I know there's creep over time on load bearing parts when using PLA yada yada, but I just haven't had the time or the earth to do material studies on this one. If you're not happy with the dimensions provided in the showcase models, you can easily customize a drawer for yourself. Let me show you how by briefly walking you through the entire process. Go to the model on Maker World and click on customize. The default settings are 5 gridfinity units in each direction. You can now customize the grids X and Y dimensions for the drawer itself, as well as the C gridfinity unit, which determines the height of the front panel. Lastly, you can also customize the size of the detachable label plates. It defaults to half a gridfinity unit in height and 3 in width, but is effectively limited by the front panel. All parts are already rotated and ready to print to provide the best stability. Changing any rotation will most definitely definitely either cause stability issues or require you to print supports. And as with all my customizations, most values are sanity checked. So when a label plate would grow bigger than the front panel, the customizer basically ignores your choice to not render unusable. When you're done with your customizations, you can click on download. Since a few of you asked, besides the 3MF file, there's also a step file which can be downloaded. So you are free in the slicer you choose. But be aware, I included some specific print settings in the 3MF profile, which you won't get if you only download the step file. So check out the printing and assembly guide if you want to apply them yourself. TLDR, I recommend you download the 3MF file. First thing you need to do is to select the body and click on split to object in the slicer. I explained why in my last video. Then type the letter A and the slicer will automatically arrange all objects on print plates. It won't do the greatest job of arranging, but it will create one where it doesn't complain about anything being out of bounds. You can just start printing the drawers now. And while you wait, let's grab the proper home wrecker parts from the core model to build you a nice frame. First, consult the printing and assembly guides to check out which support dimensions you need. Then you can either download separate step files or even easier, open the core model in Bamboo Studio and put a proper print plate together with the parts you need. Once all the parts are printed, you can assemble the drawers. At this point, I want to draw your attention to the printing and assembly guide. There I've linked full-length raw footage of the showcase drawer assembly. In this video, we will only go over it briefly, so let's get into it. First, we need to assemble the drawer mechanism itself. Take a lower and mid-slide part and slide them together like shown here. Now slide them onto the drawer shelf. Make sure that the hooks of the lower slide point inwards. Next comes the most difficult part. We need to loosely place the slide stop into the slit of the upper slide, which will prevent the drawers from falling out. Now carefully slide the mid part into it by pressing against the drawer's front. Ideally, it fully inserts. Use your thumb to apply force. If that's not sufficient, you can use the pin pusher from this build plate as a temporary extension to apply force more easily. You can now place the rear slide stops onto the bottom part. Everything should slide pretty smoothly now, like this. Ideally, gravity alone should do the work. If it doesn't run smoothly, double and triple check that the slide parts didn't warp during printing. I also cannot speak for any other material than PLA at the moment. Now do this for the other side as well and you've assembled the drawer mechanism. Repeat for each drawer and then assemble the base home wrecker frame. Now you need to place the drawer clamps onto the frame. Make sure the clamp points outwards. Mount two of them on one side and you can slide the drawer onto them. Place the other two clamps and your drawer should be secured in place. You can now place stabilizers onto the y-axis supports. They aren't actually necessary for small builds like this, but they greatly reduce bending of fully extended drawers that are 5 gridfinity units or more in depth. The rest is super straightforward. 
support. Mount vertical supports for each drawer level, depending on your drawer height. And then you can just place each drawer upon the last one. I like to place a regular Gridfinity shelf on top of my drawers for a coherent finish. The video about those can be found down in the description. As you might know by now, Home Wrecker is fully modular, meaning you can not only go upwards, but also scale to the sides. So instead of using four-way connectors, use five-way connectors and you can scale in two dimensions. If you want to go nuts, you could even scale in three dimensions in the sense of placing drawers back to back like this. This might require six-way connectors, but hey, Home Wrecker has you covered. Moving on. The biggest enemy of this model is warping. The slides are very vulnerable to any inaccuracies. So if the slides warp during printing, they won't slide smoothly, or not at all. I've had the least problems with PLA, but even there, when using the full print bed area because of pure greediness, the ends on the edge of the print bed might warp, and that can harm the slides and the fitting of the front plate. This problem multiplies with ABS or ASA. The lower parts of the drawer slides are not interchangeable with ones from differently sized drawers, so when you decide to print a 3x4 size drawer, you cannot reuse existing slides from a 4x4 size drawer. That's because this part is the adapter between Gridfinity and Home Wrecker, and it varies in width depending on the grid X units chosen. Finally, they are here. I hope you like these drawers. Even though they might be a bit sensitive to print quality, they turned out way better than I was expecting. But what do you think? What would you use them for? Are they usable for you? Or do you think the assembly is too complicated, containing so many parts? Let me know in the comments. And speaking of comments, since some of you asked for a better way to connect, I now created a Calalab Discord server, where we can discuss these models or anything 3D printing or tech related. So join today! I put a link down in the description. And if you want to help me out, like and subscribe. Okay, bye! Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> could be better, could be worse. <laughs> I don't care. Yo. Lighter items, lighter items, lighter items, lighter items. Oh, nice, lighter, 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 lighter. This one was perfect.